enough that I completed the barbarian gear, but this is what it truly looks like. I mean, let me give it, show it up. There we go. Got a little tattoos on language. It's actually pretty neat. But anyways, hey guys, this is Chibi Kevin here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, in this part, we're going to start off with core hunting, and then if we have time, um, maybe do a, a shrine quest, kind of, in a way. Actually, I don't even know which shrine quest that we have. I know we have, like, one, but I think we might have to activate it. Uh, well, that's not one of them. There was... Actually, did we even get that one? I know there's one, like, around here somewhere, but... Uh... It could have been that one. I could have sworn there's, like, one over here, too, but uh, we'll figure it out later. But, right now, I just want to focus on core hunting because... We're kind of almost done with this region, in a way. So, yeah. I guess for this episode, I'm probably just... You no, know, take a break from doing the quest and just do something else for the time being. Um, that is a rock, so might as well get that. So yeah, we'll just do that for the time being. Just work on cork hunting again. Yeah! Because I haven't really done that in a while. Which is actually kind of a good thing. Because cork hunting can be quite, you know, something. But we're almost to 600 Korok, so... We're nearly there to the total amount, which is crazy, but you know what? This is not the first time I've done it, so yeah, and hello, I do not want to deal with you. Um, let's just kind of get away from you. Uh, let me get my ice arrows ready. Nope. Go away. Alright, and switch my arrows back. Um, is that... Eh, whatever, I don't need that weapon. I know I decided to wear the barbarian gear because... It's been a while, and plus it does boost your attack, so it's actually a pretty good thing. That's another thing, I need to get, um, dragonflies, like electric dragonflies of some sort. Um, might be down here. Where is this core? Is it down here, I want to say? Uh, I can't even tell. Yes, it is. Oh, I remember this one. Okay, this is the, the metallic block. Actually, funny enough, there's actually, like, a little, oh, I can't see where I'm going. Okay, good. I don't want it to fall, but the solution is right over here. Uh, down here. There we go. So yeah, we're just going to do some core hunting, and then if we have time, uh, maybe just do a quest. I'm not sure which one, because there's actually a few that we can do, but we'll see. Actually, we're near a shrine, too. Uh, yeah, let's just go down here. Yeah, there's a... Hideout over here. Might as well take down the hideout since we're here. Uh, those are red bacabas, I want to say. Yeah, those look like red bacabas. I can take them down. And take you down. And take this down. And that almost kills everybody. Almost. Get some five arrows. Oh, hello, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna be dead, and I see a silver one. All right, get my reward from you guys. Yikes! Ah! Can't get those. That's fine. Oh, jeez! I just want to get the stuff. That's all. All right. I don't even know what attack me there, but whatever. There we go. Oh, shoot, I ran out of stuff. And there we go, all done. Alright! Plus, I would have a church up, so it's kind of worth it, and at least I hope it is. Alrighty. Um, there's other stuff here. More arrows, awesome. Alrighty, uh, that's a pretty good weapon. Um, actually, that one's more better. I want this. Let me grab, grab this instead, this is more better. Blow that out. Yeah, that was a lot more better. Alrighty. Uh, there's more things in here I can grab. Uh, meat melts, some more stuff. And that's basically it. Alright. Let's see what's inside the chest. And we have a- Ooh! A royal shield! Shield guard up by nine! Uh, yeah, that's worth it! That's definitely worth it! Uh, let's see. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Well, I might as well just get rid of this. Might as well. Because we're gonna get the Thunder Helm, which is actually very useful, so we probably don't really need to carry any more metallic. Well, we can still carry metallic weapons, so it's not gonna bother us once we get the Thunder Helm. But, um, anyways, um, uh, there is a. 
Uh, there is a cork up here. But it's crazy that we're over 100 parts now, but we're kind of, I guess, halfway done with this game, I want to say, even though there's still a lot more things to do. Like, seriously, like, even after we collect all the Divine Bees, there's still more that we have to do. Like, there is, um, the DLC, actually. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Um, uh, can I... Oh, crap. I, I, no. 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 Okay. There is trouble up there. There is trouble up there. Uh, okay. Hold on. I need to climb up here. Um, I need to eat more things. I need... <laughs> Actually, let's just waste that potion that I accidentally made. Might as well. Even though it's not going to refill much, but... Every little helps, I suppose. Alrighty. I didn't even know there was McCollins up there. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Made it. Somehow. Yeah, hush up, hush up, hush up. Ah! Go away. Oh, hello, you have... Well, since I have a wooden shield, I might... I wouldn't mind grinding for some stuff. And your red McCollin and direct protection is off, so... I might as well grab some arrows. Oh. Put that away. There we go. Get some more arrows from ya. Come on. There we go. Keep on doing that. I'm gonna grab some arrows because this is actually a good way to do it. If you have a lot of wooden shields, it's a really good way. I mean, there'll be... It's not a good way, but there's like be one area that you can get like easily... I guess 100 arrows? Maybe... At most, at least 50 arrows. Maybe like, I want to say 60 arrows. That's actually a pretty good spot to do it, but that'll be much later on. Alright, you broke my shield, that's uh, a-okay, because I have another wooden shield that I can probably use. Uh, let's use this one. I got plenty of wooden shields, so <laughs> I'm just gonna grind off of these for a bit, and then probably work somewhere to get more core off, so yeah, you suck at aiming. Come on. Keep at it. Plus, make some free room for, um, my shields, in case if I get m other things. How many arrows do I have, by the way? I mean... I don't really need to know. I'm over 200, which is a good thing, because I like having lots of arrows. Come on, buddy. Aim at me. Okay, this should be my last grinding for now, until I find another column to grind off of. Come on. Alright. I think this will be the last hit, probably. Yep, last hit. Alrighty. I almost fell off, too, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, let's just grab this. And let's just kill you. There we go. How many arrows do I have? 258. That is actually pretty good. Alright, now where is this Korok? Uh, is it up here by any chance? Maybe up here. It might be, but we'll take a quick look at it. Uh, yes it is. I do see it. It is a pinwheel. Alrighty. Alright, what do you got for me, you little... Ooh, that's a lot. Um, that's a lot of balloons. That's a lot of balloons. I do not want to miss. All right, let's be patient about this. I said be patient. All right, let me grab this one over here. All right, and this one's gonna be right over here. All right, and right here probably. And there we go, awesome. All right, well, it's kind of a good thing that I did grab for some arrows because I probably needed that. Alright. Um, is there any more? There's actually a few more. There's actually kind of more, like, around the waterfall here, so I might have to go over there. I might have to, like, warp to the Great Plateau. Um, yeah, there's one down here somewhere. I don't even know where it's at exactly. Uh, I'm not even going the right way. Oops. Alright. Let's just keep on climbing. There we go. Come on. There we go. I wouldn't mind finding another line now, but we're not gonna do that right now. Um, actually, I do know this area. Yes, yeah, it's somewhere over here. Um, I see wolves. Might as well take care of those guys. Nope. Get away. Go away. Yeah, that's right. Go. Run. Run. Alrighty. Uh, I think it's another pinwheel. I want to say. Yeah, I see another pinwheel. Also, a swift violet. Great Plateau! It's been a long time since we've been here. A very long time. Okay, what do we have here? We just- oh, these popping ones. Alright. This one should be easy, right? And I'm not gonna go after that one to wait. 
Oh. And there we go. Easy. Alright. Good. And yeah. Alright. Um. I guess I'm going to warp to the Great Plateau just to make it easier for me. So I'm going to warp back up here. Then we'll get this Korok. And then we'll do something else. So see you guys in a bit. Poor Link. He's shivering. <laughs> Alright. Well, okay. Fine, fine, fine. I won't let him shiver to death. It just kind of... Cool just to see him react to the cold. Uh, but anyways, um, the car that we're looking for is down here somewhere. And it's just so weird to be here again. It really does. And also there's a shrine down there, which we can possibly get, but we'll see. More importantly, there is a thing down here which I want to get. It's actually a Korok. Um, I believe it's a lily pad, I want to say. I can't see. Oh, no, it's not. It's... Wait, is that a lily pad? No, it's this thing. Okay, never mind. Uh, but I do want to shoot you down. Actually, I'll just throw a bomb, not wait. Just stuff on me. No, hey! How, how fitting you went on land. Awesome. Alright, anyways, uh, let's actually throw a rock down here. Hopefully it makes it in there. I said I hope it makes it in there. Please don't give me another of these kind of situations. Alright, let's try this again. Throw in there. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that core has been bothering me for a bit, so I kind of wanted to get that. Alright, got that. Uh, do we want to go for that shrine? Well, we haven't done shrines in a while, so... Uh, I mean, I might as well as right here, so I, I guess I will, perhaps. Because we haven't done shrines in a, in a while, so might as well... Well, we haven't done any shrines in this episode, so might as well. Because what I try to do like, for each episode is kind of like, or at least for episode of Korok Hunting, I try to do at least one shrine just to kind of make up for it. Instead of just strictly just Korok Hunting, even though I've done that plenty of time, but still, might as well. Alrighty. Yeah, might as well head for this shrine because the beep is going to get annoying. And us, actually, after we, after we complete the shrine, I'm probably going to head back to the Gruo does, oh jeez. Gruo does have to do more Korok Hunting, so yeah. Alright. Avoid you. Alright, we're almost there to the shrine. Oh, don't crack the thing out. Please, leave me alone. Yikes. Alright, and yeah, maybe one more ice cube should do it. Or I could just swim there myself. I don't know, I just swim there. Kind of a new region, but might as well take it. And it's really the Dark Shrine, and I, if I remember correctly, I think this is a... Uh, one of those modest mi minor shrines, I believe. If I remember correctly, I think this is a minor, but we'll take a look and see. Let me see, is this a minor? It is a minor. Alrighty, let's just go in and, well, fight this thing, because I am well prepared. <laughs> Overly prepared. Alright, so let's just fight you. You're an easy one to dodge because you got a spear. Uh, no. I'm just gonna keep destroying you before you do your laser thing. Uh, let's just... Yeah, let's just use this. And you're dead. <laughs> easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't know why I keep saying that, but it's just an old saying that everyone... Well, not everyone, but <laughs> back then a lot of people used. Alrighty, uh, and let's see what our prize is. I'll be loud. I'll laugh if it's like a powerful weapon. No, just an ancient core, which that's actually really important too. Alrighty, anyways, um, oh, I know what we can do. We can probably do uh, one of the EX treasures that we can probably do, since we have all the locations unlocked. Possibly, but we'll see. You know what, I kind of maybe just want to do that for the time being. But I also want to do core hunting, but, uh... Hmm. I guess we might as well do that now. I don't know why I'm talking through this. <laughs> um, you know what? Yeah, I, I guess I probably do that since I have really nothing to do. Maybe, I, I guess. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because there is actually a chest that we could probably do. I guess we might as well. I mean, we got lots of Korok that we can do, but we can probably do this in the next episode. Probably. Hey, I, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might as well. 
um, the quest I was talking about is one of the EX treasures. Actually, it's just a free update in this game. Uh, let me go find it. Uh, not that one. Um, where is it? Not the ground up. Thunder Helm, Royal Guard Gear. This one, Steel Blade Chronicles 2. Um, pretty much it just gave you this hint right away. The southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge, the eastern sky from the skull's left eye, the southeastern sky from the peak of the tall, pure, snowy mountain. Look to the night sky at these locations and find these red shooting stars. Alright, so, um, the largest bridge, that's referring to this area over here. So, we're gonna walk over there and, well, try to find, actually make it nighttime too. I should probably do that. Anyway, see you guys there. Well, it's raining, but anyway, just look into the sky and hopefully you will see something. Let's cut. Oh, hello, Farash. I am not going to deal with you right now. I'm more so looking for a particular shooting star. I mean, if I guess what they're then that'd be cool, but I'm not really paying attention to that. But it says on the hint, the middle of the lake, which... Probably should be in the middle, but it's gonna be hard to see since it's raining. I mean, unless probably stay right here for now. But pretty much it's in the middle of the lake, I guess. But there we go. Right away, we see a red shooting star, and it lands right there. Which actually, funny enough, it always lands on the same spot. So. I'm not sure, I've never played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so I'm not sure if there's like a reference to it with the red shooting star thing, but, um, but might as well do these things, but pretty much you had to do it at night time, just look into the, the night sky, and then hopefully a red shooting star appears. And with that, it gives us a treasure chest, and hello, I do not want to deal with you. Inside here we have the Salvager Headwear. Um, essential gear used by a boy who seeks sunken treasure in the cloud sea. It's a rather rare find. I might as well just wear that, I suppose. Which gives us, um, swim speed, which I don't know if that's a reference to the game or not, but... Yeah, we have that thing that Rex wears in the Unblade Crown Zone 2, I think that's his name. Anyways, um, the next hint that it gives us is... Oh, not that one. It gives us the eastern sky from the skull's left eye. That is... Well, Skull Lake, actually, Nikala, which is right uh, over here. Anyways, we're gonna warp over there, and I'll see you guys there as soon as I avoid this problem. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. I accidentally warped into the wrong <laughs> shrine. But, anyways, oh, it is raining here, but, um, I think we should be okay. Where is the left eye, by the way? Is it? I need to go to the left eye. I can't see from this rain. Um... Actually, it's a... I need to go on the left eye. Is this the left eye? Actually, this is the left eye. What am I thinking? Yeah, this is the left eye. But pretty much, just gotta look in the sky and hopefully it will pop up. This is the left eye, right? I mean, according to the skull, this is the left eye. But pretty much, hopefully find a shooting star, speaking of which. Alright, so... It'll give us a clue where the shooting star is going to land on. Alright. It's too bad it's raining, but I'll just use Revolve here to get there. At least it leaves a beacon behind so we can see where we're going. Alrighty. Actually, since it's raining, it's actually a good time to get those. There's a fort here that throws bomb arrows at you, and it's actually a good way to grab for bomb arrows, but I'm not in any need of bomb arrows at the moment. So, I'm not going to go after that, but it's been a long time since we've been into Kala. And thank goodness it's not thunderstormy. Speaking of thunderstorms, it's been stopped pouring, so that's good. Can you guys leave me alone? Jeez. Like, I really don't want to deal with you. Wow, that was a big swing, too. <laughs> Anyways, let's grab our second treasure chest. As soon as you guys leave me alone. And we have the Salvager Vest. Uh, pretty much the same description, but I'm going to wear that. Uh, so it's coming together, actually. Alrighty, so anyways, the last hint that it gives us is um, the southeast southeastern sky from the peak of the tall, pure, snowy mountain. Now this one actually confused me because it says southeastern sky. 
I thought it meant Mount Lanieru as, you know, just being up there, but no, it's not actually. It's actually the Hebra Mountain, which is actually the tallest mountain there is. And since up here is inside of a cavern, I'm going to warp over here just to kind of make it quicker. And since it's going to be actually um, cold up there, I might as well dress up for the weather. So where is my snow boots? Snow boots. Where are my snow boots? Oh, right there. Yeah, I might as well dress up just for a bit, so yeah. And also, I might as well get my flame spear so I don't have to wear anything else. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys in a bit up in the Hebrew Mountains, so I'll see you guys there. Man, it's been a while since we've been in the Hebra region. Ah, I see the Aurora Borealis. It's so pretty. Ah, I love it. It's just so pretty. Oh my god, that's too pretty. Anyways, uh, distraction aside, actually, that's actually kind of cool that it's on a clear, nice sky, which I can appreciate because I hate traveling through the snow if it has blizzard conditions and I can actually see um, the Aurora Borealis. I mean, I can't really see it. Okay, well, I can't see it partially, but still. Man, it's been a while since we've been here, but let's head up to, uh, I think it's the tallest peak, I want to say. Hopefully it is. Where the Korok is at, actually. Yeah, actually, funny enough, it's actually where the Korok is at, so hopefully that's where we need to go. Because this one actually confused me, because I thought it was Mount Lanayru, but it's not. Oh, how about you, little foxy? Ah, it's so cute. Oh, right, I have extra stamina. I'm not really going to use it. I mean, I guess I could, but eh. Okay, you guys at nighttime are really annoying. Oh, don't you dare shoot me. I might as well use that stamina, I might as well. Because I don't feel like messing with you guys. At least I have snow boots on, but just climbing in general is just going to be a pain in the butt. But pretty much just look into the night sky and find a red shooting star. And that'll be it. Alrighty, well, let's keep on going. Might as well waste that last stamina that I have because I really don't need it. Alright, so let's go all the way up to the very top part of this mountain and look for the southeastern sky. Alright, so this is probably the tallest part of the mountain. Yes, it is. So we gotta look southeast of us, which is right there. Yep, it just popped out <laughs> on cue. Alright, so we're just gonna wait until it lands. Might as well just follow it now. Alright, it's gonna land somewhere. And there we go. Kind of neat that you can see the explosion of when the shooting stars, you know, hit the ground. Like, it's very close by, too, which is really amazing. Alright. Man, it's been such a long time since we've been here, which is crazy, but... Um, I don't want wind, thank you very much. Nature's not nearby, so I don't need anything. Actually, nature doesn't come here at all. Excuse me, leave me alone! But, anyways, we got the Salvager Trousers! So now we completed all the gears on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and I'm gonna get hit, so, um, I'll be right back. I'm probably gonna finish up by just core hunting just for a little bit, or at least go back to the desert, or something like that, but, anyways, see you guys somewhere else. Alright, so this is the outfit for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, aka Rex's outfit. I don't know why, but the back of it, when you see his thighs, looks kind of weird. It's just kind of a weird-looking outfit, but whatever. But, I'm not familiar with Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so... Yeah, I just know that the guy name is Rex, and that's basically it. And I don't even know why I work here, just because, well, they're gonna do a little bit the rest of the core hunting, so yeah. I mean, try to before I end the episode, so I might as well. Alright, so, anyways, I kind of want to head over here because I want to find some more Koroks before I end the episode. But yeah. Ugh. Anyways. Uh. Might as well go over here, I guess. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll just finish up a few more core off and then we'll just end it off there. Alright. I might as well wear this outfit, like, during the desert. Well, not really, because I need the sand boots to travel faster. But yeah, um, I guess, um, I'm gonna be telling, I'll just say the next episode. We're continuing more with core hunting. Uh, if we do have time, probably work on a quest, because there's actually a few more quests that I can think of, besides the Noble Pursuit one, which we still need to complete, but we'll get to that one soon, whenever we can. Alright, I'm gonna, like, keep on climbing. Alrighty, um, it's, uh, ooh, it's a thing here. 
Uh, where is this one going to lead to? That's a question. Right over there. Alright, I guess we're heading there. Which shouldn't be that bad, hopefully. I mean, I wish I had Revolta scale now, but what can you do? Alrighty, um, yeah, we're just going to keep climbing up. Alright, come on. Get up, 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 up. I wish I got that restroom, but oh well. And gone. Alright, so we got that Korok. Alright, and let's see, one more is over there, but the thing is, will I be able to reach there? Nah, I'm gonna stop it here, guys. <laughs> so, next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, we'll continue on with Korok hunting. Maybe do a shrine quest or more stuff in Gerudo Town, but we'll see about that. But anyways, I'll see you guys then. So, this is Chibi Scavenge saying, 